Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing good. I hope this video finally in the best form of human and health. So I decided to be vlogging during the mornings when I wake up for um when I wake up for maybe for the hajjit or fajr prayers. So today today is on a Saturday and it's currently um six fifteen. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it's six fifteen and uh um, I woke up at around 4.47 to pray to Hajjit and catch up with Fajr as well and yeah so I am taking my water as well um, journaled a bit um, and yeah I went to um, I'm currently doing um, I'm currently revising for my Ashir for Duxi because yeah this is what the ear is lacking back um, people are sleeping so that's why I'm talking this way and uh, yeah we need to be in um, at the madrasa or the duksi where I'm taking my ashir so I'm currently um, I'm currently also um, trying to catch up with my ashir because lately I've been slacking away and yeah, it's time to get back to being happy to the and so yeah I'll try to vlog um, in between my day and yeah وقد كان بالسوق دهر طريق تقال العثار العظام به ويعود الهوى ككبش ذبيح بذكر الاله تطيب الحياة تسر اسارير وجه صبيح تسر اسارير وجه صبيح سبيل الدموع سبيل مريح so guys, it's currently 7.31, I was able to get down, um, I can't talk, I can't talk, I can't talk very loudly, but, um, people woke up, and it's currently, um, 7.31, um, so I'm going to get ready for Duxi, because Duxi starts at 8, and, why did this light go off? Why? Okay. Let me just continue. So, um, I'm going to brush my teeth and, uh, um, comb my hair because I do have, um, stuff to comb my hair with. I usually use the leave-in conditioner, TCB leave-in conditioner, and the hair food as well. And I'm going to wash my face as well with CeraVe. And what else? Yeah, do my skincare. This is what my skin care comprises of. I usually wash my face, um, use the aloe vera moisturizer, and uh, go in with sunscreen. So that will be my skin care, and I'm doing my hair care. And yeah, I mean, let's start the day. So, yeah, guys, so now I'm in the bathroom, and uh, yeah, I wanted to do my skincare routine. Um, as you can tell now, I wore something comfortable, um, took a shower, and yeah. <laughs> Lately, like, I've been having a lot of breakouts and, yeah, I'm just trying to bring my face back to, back to life. So, yeah, guys, I was able to secure a towel because I have washed most of my towels um, and yeah I'm just going to dry my face and I don't know if you guys can 
see the blackout, but we're trying to improve with that. So yeah, so my skincare routine consists of just three steps. One, I cleanse my face with the CeraVe cleanser, and I go in with um, I don't know if you can see it, the aloe vera gel. And let me tell you, the only thing that doesn't break out my skin is aloe vera, and I'm stuck to that. So I usually take in a small amount, then rub it on my face, and yeah, and just go in. The struggle is real. You know the thing is that I came to realize with skincare, the simpler the better. The simpler the better. Just don't complicate your face. And because So after I do that, I love to secure it with um, my sunscreen. But I just do that and just go in directly towards my face because, yeah, I just don't, don't go outside without you having sunscreen on because why why would you why would you do that I will blend this out then head back to going back to preparing myself to do see the thing that I love about um, this sunscreen is that you will start to feel um, the white cast but after it's like it's dissolved in your face you're going to have that natural glow and that's what we're going for you see I don't know you guys if you guys can see but I don't know if you guys can see but lately my face has been improving a lot a lot you see me and I'm so grateful so yeah let's get to wearing my hijab and yeah so guys yeah I was able to do my skincare routine as you can see here and I don't know why this camera is moving up and down um yeah my sister is my sister is sleeping um in the background and i don't want to wake her up so so yeah guys um um we will be heading to duxi me and the kids my nephews and nieces and uh, yeah it's currently um it's currently 7.53 so let's head to the and I can't I can't read because um oh my niece is talking. I'll be able to be um opening my new Sora which is Sora to Shuara. I'm so excited. <laughs> Sabino, <laughs> 
ضحك يتستريع وبوس الدعاء الخفي الصريع يا ساك الفضاء الرحيب الفسيع مساجد So guys, this is the masajid that I usually go to Duxi and it's written وأنا المساجد لله فلا تدعو مع الله أحدا Translate that Translate that um, comment. Translate. <laughs> oh, I'm confusing myself. Translate that ayah in the comment section. Translate that ayah in the comment section. Hey guys, I am back from Duxi. As you can see, the message is there, um, and it's currently around ten. <sighs> and I was able to um, take my Quran is almost falling down. I was able to take um, two pages of um, two pages of Surah Shu'ara and also write down as well. So cold is starting to kick in as well. And I'm not feeling so well. Right. I was able to make um, a potato bowl while watching Bahia. And yeah, I kind of cleaned up my space, my desk. And yeah, so how cute I am when I was young. So yeah. I was able also to make my bed, of which I am super proud of myself and clean up my little desk there so yeah there was a lot of destruction going around the house so that's why i had to cut the video short so i was talking about goals you have your goals when you're writing about your goals you have your mission vision and your goals goals is what you aspire to do during this year be it like if you want to manifest in, in the Quran, your dream, if you want to manifest in your career wise, um, all of that comes now under under your goals. When you talk about um, your health, your health now is that eating healthy, um, um, when it comes to um, being strong physically, mentally, um, spiritually, learning more about your, 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 what is it called, your dream. So that comes under. I don't know but to me it comes under health because the moment like you're strong physically mentally and spiritually that is the most form that is the most healthiest being you'll ever be so yeah towards the mindset mindset is now which kind of mindset are you going into 2024 are you going to in a man mindset that is strong are you going to a mindset that, like, that is nice you becoming financially stable um, you becoming um, you becoming what is it called in terms of reading books, gaining knowledge, journaling, self love, affirmations, body positivity, self boundary. All of that now comes into mindset. Let me tell you, the moment your mindset is so strong, you are unbeatable. So yes, let's work on our mindset this year. So my um, the 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 what is it called? Um, my vision board now um uh, what do i want to say i don't know how to put it into is it me alone or when you want to say something is the is the time that um the word just gets out of your mind so the 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 headlight of this year to me is peace i want peace 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 i want to be in a i want to 2024 is about positivity and let Allah take the wheel and let God take the wheel. You just be in peace. Be at, be at peace with yourself. Be at peace with everybody. Yeah. So yeah. And also, I am heading for a walk. So maybe I'll take you guys along. And yeah. Guys, don't mind what is happening there. <laughs> Uh, can you just even don't don't see what's happening there because I was not feeling well today I was down with a cold and I decided to do something productive and uh, yeah I created my vision board in my bed so yeah. 
guys just don't don't judge don't come after me don't come after me i know um i do make my bed every morning but when it uh it was around um 10 around the 11 um i was down with a fever and i had a uh, painkiller and uh, yeah i kind of passed out a little bit until duhur then i woke up at duhur if you don't know for the people who don't know duhur is um the prayer we do um at 12 30 pm mm, yeah so yeah let's go for a walk <laughs> guys i don't know if you can see me but i think you can you can see my hands so i was able to secure some dates and uh, some dates and a cup of milk so that i can i can um suhoor i can eat my suhoor so yeah uh the reason that's why i'm fasting is because Ramadan is in, is nearing, and I had to pay seven days of last Ramadan, and I have paid six. So I have been procrastinating to finish off, but this is the date. So yeah. Let's basically start our day with good. Hi guys, so I was able to turn off the to turn on the lights. Um, it's currently um five thirty. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if it's five. It's not zooming, but let me show you if um. It's 5.30 and I am trying to get as much as I can in my day. I do have my headphones that I'm going to be listening to Quran too. I have my Quran that I need to go to today to Tuxi to get my Ashir and I have my journaling book and as well I have my actual book so yeah let's start the day with journaling I 
you shouldn't procrastinate during the morning because the morning I am so active and some mornings I just don't want to leave my bed so this are one of the days that I am so grateful for because I am consistent and yeah we are going to go with the flow update my family woke up everybody is awake my nephews my nieces I was able to today is a wash day it's so noisy I was able to um, oil my hair because today is wash day and also apply face scrub and yeah do a skin um, I've already washed my hair um, moisturize it um, so do my skincare routine with me as I as I tell you guys the reason as to why I this is an aloe vera um an aloe vera moisturizing aloe vera essence hydrant. I got this from I got this from Miniso. So what was I saying? Get ready with me to Duxi as I tell you a little story of this is part of the blog. I will tell you a little bit story of um how I chopped my hair last year. Around September September fifth, I think so. In twenty twenty three twenty 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 two. Yes, because 2023 was the year when I cut my hair. So, you know, um, when I was in nursing school, I barely used to have time to, um, I barely used to have time to fix my hair and all of that. So the only thing that I used to go, the only thing that I used to do is go to um, the salon. That used to be near the school sunscreen. So the hairdresser would blow dry my hair until like you hear, do you know when you're trying to fry something up? That's what she used to do with my hair. So I never used to, to realize that it damaged my hair so badly, such as the fact that i never used to have courage um seeing my hair because um i was so discouraged of it so when september came i had braids that time i decided to have the big chop i cut my hair to the point like it can't even go into a bun and decided that first of all i will never get blood hair blood dried blood dry to my hair and another thing is that i will never um i will never um put my my hair into circumstances that will damage it so i made myself a promise so each and every friday i used to make my i used to make hair mask i used to um I used to make avocados, mashed avocado, one avocado, um, one egg, um, coconut oil and uh, um, coconut oil and uh, what is it called coconut oil. Yeah, so I will mash them together and apply it um, and have a shower kit for around 30 to 40 minutes to an hour. Then I will wash it. I will braid my hair every Friday. And let me tell you, since then, my hair has you know um those type of girls who have like um who have uh, a, um a curly hair 
so i would i would um i would uh, put leading conditioner and my skin is scanning that's the fact that we have some visitors here but overall i just like my skin how it's radiant you know a happy skin is a happy me <laughs> but i came to realize with skincare the simpler the better just have it simple don't make it to be so complicated that's what i learned the hard way because my face was breaking out so much to the point i will literally hate myself so yeah let's head to duxi and uh, i think i will be dropping me and my sister will be dropping my nephew to school and yeah i think i will take you guys if not i think so so guys we made past the suhoor <laughs> i was able to fast today alhamdulillah so now my um paying back the fast seven days that i missed last ramadan i was able to um fast them all oh my god i'm so proud of myself guys i was able to queue a snack <coughs> best potatoes and وقد كان بي السقم دهرا طري تقال العثار العظام به ويعود الهوى ككبش ذبيح بذكر الاله تطيب الحياه تسر اسارير وجه صبيح تسر اسارير وجه صبيح سبيل الدموع سبيل مريح تنا أدا يا صاحي كي تستريح وبث الدعاء الخفي الصريح يسعك الفضاء الرحيب الفسيح سبيل الدموع سبيل مريح تنا أدا يا صاحي كي تستريح وبث الدعاء الخفي الصريح يسعك الفضاء الرحيب الفسيح قد كان بالسقم دهرا طريق تقال العثار العظام به ويعود الهوى ككبش ذبيح بذكر الاله تطيب الحياه تسر اسارير وجه صبيح تسر اسارير وجه صبيح سبيل الدموع سبيل مريح تنا أدا يا صاحي كي تستريح وبث الدعاء الخفي الصريح يسعك الفضاء الرحيب الفسيح سبيل الدموع سبيل مريح تنا أدا يا صاحي كي تستريح وبث الدعاء الخفي الصريح I don't know how to say this, but I finally did my first vision board. Let me tell you guys, I, when I'm looking at this vision board, <laughs> I'm going to show you obviously, I feel like crying. Why? Because um, this was my first time ever doing a vision board and putting in effort to try to bring life to what I envision in my head. I'm so grateful, beyond grateful. And yeah, that is the vision board. I was able I don't know why the light went off but hey 
I was able to create my vision board. <laughs> it came back to life. It came to life. I'm so proud of myself. I am so proud of myself. Guys, if this is your sign to create a vision board, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? <laughs> Alhamdulillah. I was able to create my vision board and I'm so proud. I am so freaking proud of myself. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing good. I hope this video finds you in the best form of your mental health. I think this is the last day I'll be vlogging um, so that I can compile all of the videos together and edit it. I'm so, I'm so proud. Can I say proud? Yes. I'm so glad that I was able to vlog um, during my day. And uh, yeah. So now this is me sitting down one on one with you guys. You know, the thing is that I don't know if it's this year that um, I finally got the courage like to talk into the camera and share with you guys um, motivational videos and definitely this year I am planning to have more people join in the channel so stay tuned to that and uh, yeah the topic that I want to talk today to talk about today is that um being intentional in this year putting your mind to things that you want to achieve being intentional to what you want to achieve um not be, not allowing people to like step on you and this is the year that you finally decide that you come first because in the end of the day you come first because there's so many people who will come step on you and they think it's so what is it called they think that it's uh, it's normal it's normal for you not to say no and if you say no you're rude right. you'll mind you guys you'll mind you'll mind my background noise my cousins are playing outside I was able by me to fix my bed for which I'm so happy let me show you guys I am so happy and yeah we were talking about being intentional you know I don't know if you've, you guys have seen I tried to um, I tried to make my vision board come to life first of all I wrote down everything that I need to um, what is it called everything that I need to be intentional about my body health mindset and uh, my goals so I went to Pinterest and uh, um, I went to Pinterest and had pictures and um, to do some pictures and I went to the cyber to print them out and yeah you're wondering what I'm looking at I'm looking at the the vision board like i am so proud of how it turned out and like looking 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 back like last year next year looking back now to this year to this vision board i'll be seeing like things i wanted to accomplish and i did accomplish and uh, yeah it's just so amazing how like you envisioned something in your mind and when you bring it back to life when you bring it to life you'll be like what did this just happen and yes alhamdulillah like whatever you do just be grateful in everything being intentional in everything that you do and let me tell you this year this year is the year like we get back to our deen we get back to our faith we read the quran because you know in the in the vision board i so I, I, there is a picture that says um, Ramadan mode. You eat suhoor. You eat suhoor, um, you pray. You eat suhoor, you pray, you read Quran, you make dua, you make sadaqa, you help out, you make iftar, tarabih, and you repeat. I think Ramadan is one of the things that 
it makes us to be disciplined. I don't know if it's me alone, but Ramadan makes us to be so disciplined. And I think it's only one month to go to Ramadan. And girl, if you haven't pay, paid your missed, missed fasts, this is your sign to start paying them. Because, yeah, you have to pay them. And yeah, I am so grateful. I'm so grateful to have you guys. And you know, in my vision board, it's written that um, by the end of this year, I want to reach a hundred thousand subscribers to get the golden, the silver plate. <laughs> uh, be delusional until it happens. So yeah. I'm so grateful. You know, you guys, um, you guys are amazing. You, uh, I made it. I made, you know, I've always had the passion to like motivate people and to motivate people to be better. But you know, sometimes you will slack off. You're going to slack off. But knowing that there are so many people who benefit from, who benefit from your videos, it gives me hope to just continue. So. With that said and done, I hope you enjoy this vlog. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you're new here, welcome to the channel. If um, you're a tiny subscriber, you're amazing. You are amazing, and I love you. I love you guys so much. So, with that said and done, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.